So this is the last project we will be doing. So let's open up a new document and we're going to call this Celtic. And it's going to be a print file and the units will be inches and OK. So we're going to begin by placing one of the Celtic designs. So we're going to go to File and Place. And you can see we have six different designs to choose from. And I'm going to choose this one. And I'm going to make it a template. Now, you don't want to click on Link because you won't be able to open it in a, on a different computer. It's going to look for this file in this folder if you link it. So be very careful linking um, your files when you bring them in. So I'm going to place and I'll bring down my layers palette just to make sure everything's working good. And I'll double click on here and call this Celtic. Okay, so you can see this is going to be a challenge to draw. Now I'm going to begin by getting rid of my fill, bring forward the stroke color, and I'm going to give it a color here. Okay. So I'll begin, I can do one of these large ones if you like, but I'll begin with the small one to begin with. Okay. You really don't want to start at a corner. They're difficult to close to begin with. So I'm going to start here. Let me zoom in just a little more. Okay. So I'm going to click here and here. And you can see if I don't get it exact, what I'll do is I'll come back and adjust my handles and my lines. So you can see this is going way, you know, the, uh, the handle is going way too long. It should be just here. So I'm going to click on here to eliminate that handle and then come here to the end and go like that. Okay, so now you can see this is curve 2 and it's a sharp curve. So I'm going to hold down my Alt key and get on that and you can see I'm going to go just above this curve here and finish off. Oops. There we go. Like that. Now, this is a sharp curve too, so I'm going to hold down my Alt key when I do this. Okay. Drag here. Okay, this seems to be going a little too much this way. So I'm going to click here to eliminate that handle. And I'm going to come here. Like that. And of course, this handle is way too long, so I'll click there to eliminate it. And I think I can finish this in this curve. Oh, I can. Very good. Okay, so now this handle needs to be eliminated. So I'm going to hold down my Alt key and I'm going to go over this. And go round. I'm going to come back and bring that up a little bit. And just keep going around. That handle seems a little too long, so I will click on that anchor point. 
and I'm going to go like this. All right. So a little bit of work needs to be done on here. I'll go with my direct selection tool and just adjust this handle a very wee bit. That's good. And you can see I have this drawn. Now I'm going to change views. I'm going to go from the preview view to the outline view. And you can see what it looks like here. I do need to bring this handle out just a little bit. Let's move that out. There we go. Oh, lovely. So, you can see here that I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine anchor points. So that's about the right number of anchor points to get a nice project like this. Now, what I'm going to be looking for in your final project is a smoothness. And if I see that you do a connect the dots, and I'll show you what I mean, something like this, I'm not going to accept it. Because that is not learning how to draw with the pen tool. But um, I know this is going to be a challenging piece for you. And you will have two weeks to finish it. But I know by the time you finish, you will know how to use the pen tool. You will have mastered it. And you will have a piece of artwork that is so beautiful. Now, you can take your artwork after you finish and decorate it in any way you like. And I'm just going to come here to the gradient window and bring this down here and there's some um, some yellows. I'll take this off the stroke here and fill it. Oh, did it go away? Oh, here it is. All right. Here we go. And fill it. Why isn't it showing? Oh, am I in the wrong view? All right, there's the preview view. Okay, so you know, you can do some lovely things with this. Good luck to you, and if you have any problems, please email me, and I will help you if I can. Goodbye, and good luck.